क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 ए बी सी डी इज ए रेक्टेंगल रेक्टेंगुलर हेक्सेगन सो लेट मी ड्रॉ द हेक्सेगन ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी ई एफ ए बी सी डी ई एफ ऑफ साइड एट सेंटीमीटर्स टू पोल्स एट डी एंड सी आर स्टैंडिंग वर्टिकली एंड देर टॉप सबटेन एन एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन सिक्सटी डिग्रीज एंड देर थर्टी डिग्रीज एट पॉइंट ए ओके सो दिस पोल ओके सो if this is point a so you have to look at it in a different perspective now so this is your point a and i'm drawing a line and this is the base of d this is d this is a and there's a pole standing here okay now this angle of elevation is 60 degrees now what is this ad length ad length is this length over here how much is the length that's what we need to find first and secondly once again i'll draw another figure i have a and i have c this is another pole and this time the angle of elevation is 30 degrees so what is ac ac is this length over here i need to find what is the length of ac find the sum of the heights of the poles at d and c let's call this as height 1 let's call this as height 2 okay so if this is your x this is your y this is your y ac is your y so if you use your tan th tan 60 your trigonometry for this triangle over here tan 60 is opposite side which is h h1 by uh, adjacent side which is x so tan 60 is root 3 is h1 by x or h1 equal to x root 3 similarly you will use tan 30 that is 1 by root 3 is h2 by y or h2 is y by root 3 so you want the sum of these two so you want to find what is x and y so this is x this is your y so now you know that this is a this is a regular hexagon each side is 8 so what will what will be the side of this entire thing and what will be the side of this now if you look at this abc triangle this is 8 and this is 8 and now the question is what is the angle here because if you get the angle here you will get the side here okay so what is the interior angle of a regular hexagon that's the question so i hope all of you know that the interior angle is going to be 120 degrees how do you get this basically you will get it by the formula where sum of all the sum of all the interior angles of a polygon is given by n minus 2 into pi so here n is 6 So this is this gives you six minus two four into one eighty. But you want, uh, you know, you want for a regular hexagon. Regular hexagon, remember, because all the angles are same, I can divide this total by six. So this gives you one twenty. So that's how you're going to get one twenty degrees. So now we have a triangle. This is one twenty degrees, and it's an isosceles triangle because eight and eight both sides are same. So one eighty minus one twenty is sixty. So this has to be thirty, and this has to be thirty. Okay, so now basically you have a uh, triangle over here, isosceles triangle, and uh, this is eight, and this is thirty. So can you find half of it this side? If you have, if you find half of it, you can double it. So you can use trigonometry once again. You can use sine theta, cos theta, whatever. So if you can use cos thirty, cos thirty is root three by two. Cos thirty is adjacent side by hypotenuse. So adjacent side is this value over here. Let's call this as a. So a by hypotenuse is eight. So two goes four times. So a, this a will be four root three. So we want double of it because we want double of this. So this value is going to be eight root three. All right. Now we want again this value x. So your y is eight root three. So what is your h two? So your h two is y by root three. So your h two is Uh, 8 root 3 by root 3, so this gets cancelled, which is 8. Great. So this is basically 8, 8. So the next part is to find the value of x. Now, how do you get the value of x? Once again, one way of looking at it is if you draw this. I'll just change the color so that you follow this carefully. If you, if I draw a line like this, and if I draw a line like this, this part of x will still be 8 because that is the side here. if i can find this height so basically this value here this value and double it because there is going to be one more piece and add it to 8 i'll get the value of my x so what is this part here once again 
I can use sin 30. Sin 30 is 1 by 2. So sin 30 is 1 by 2. Sin 30 is opposite side. So let's call this as um, B. This opposite side is B. Okay. This one is B. So B by hypotenuse. B by 8. So your B is 4. If your B is 4, so this is 4, this is 4. So plus another 8. So 8 plus 8, 16. So your X is 16. So this is 16 root 3 plus 8. Or if you take out 8 common, 2 root 3 plus 1, which is there in your option B.